Hi, this is Dawn at Mortgage One, and today we're going to be talking about seller concessions. Before we get started, if you can like and subscribe to my YouTube channel, that would be awesome. I put out content a couple times a week. So what are seller concessions and how are they beneficial for you as a buyer and for your client? So seller concessions, as you might know, are closing costs that are paid for by the sellers towards the buyer's closing costs. And it's important to know that they pay a portion of your closing costs. It may not be all of it, it's as a percentage typically. So those concessions can be used towards things like your title insurance, your recording fees, your title closing fee. It might also be used towards your underwriting and processing. It can be used towards prepaid items too, such as your interest and what you need to set up your cost for your taxes and insurance for future, for future taxes and insurance payments. So in seller concessions, it's important to know that usually it's a dollar amount or a percentage, but it can never be used for your down payment. So it's not to be confused with down payment. So if you have 3% given to you by the sellers, that's not to be confused with your 3% down payment requirement. So if you buy a home for $150,000, you need a 3% down payment and you get 3% in concessions. Those concessions are used towards closing costs and prepays, not towards your down payment requirement. Sometimes when you go through a home inspection, you have a list of repairs or wants from the sellers. And those list of repairs could either be repaired by the seller or you can get closing cost credit to help offset those repairs that you're gonna to have to do in the future. The important thing to know is seller concessions are only being paid towards closing costs and prepaids though. So you wouldn't wanna write in an addendum that you're dissatisfied with the inspection or that the furnace isn't working or the hot water tank is old or that the roof only has uh, uh, six months left to it. You would just want to simply state that the buyer and seller mutual agree that the seller will pay $4,500 towards buyer's closing costs and prepaid items. What I'm trying to say is that if you have trouble with your inspection and it's due to you having to do work after the closing, what you might want to do is get some closing costs paid by the sellers so that it reduces your amount that you need to closing and then you can then use that money that you would typically have used towards your closing costs and that you would need at closing towards those repairs after closing and those renovations that you want to do. So how much in concessions are allowed? Typically on an investment property, the most that a seller can contribute is 2%. Typically on a conventional loan, when you put less than 10% down, the most that's allowed in concessions is 3%. And this is all a percentage of your sale price. So this is the maximum that's allowed. And then if you're putting more than 10% down, you can get as much as six to 9% paid for by the sellers and concessions. And then on any type of government loan like FHA or USDA Rural Development, those concessions can be up to 6% of the sale price of the house. So on a $150,000 house price, that's $9,000. And then on a VA loan, it's 6 to 8% is what's allowed. So you can get money paid for closing costs and prepaid items. So it's important to also know that all of these programs allow you to have those concessions paid down towards discount points. Discount points are a reduction of your interest rate. So if you can think of an interest rate, kind of like golf, you have your par interest rate, and then what happens is you can choose to pay money to reduce your interest rate, either for a short term or for, for the long term, for the total length of the loan. So for example, let's say that your start rate was 6%, and you were gonna pay two percentage points of your loan amount, pay two points, uh, to buy down your interest rate, and that would buy down your interest rate, say a half a percentage point to five and a half percent. So you get a little bit of a benefit for all 30 years. Another way that you can option to reduce your interest rate through seller concessions is that you choose a two for one buy down. Let's say that your start rate is 6%. Your, your sellers can pay for your start rate to start at 4% for the first year, and then 5% for the year for the second year. This gives you hundreds of dollars off your payment for the first two years. So if the payment is a little heavy for you in the beginning and you know you're gonna make more money in the future, that would be a great option to get a temporary buy down of a 2% reduction the first year and a 1% reduction the second year. This saves you literally hundreds of dollars a month. So that all can be done through seller paid closing costs. So I hope this gives you a good understanding of what seller concessions are and how they can be used to help you towards closing costs, towards prepaid items, towards buying points, but they cannot be used towards your down payment and then how they vary from loan type to loan type, the amounts are different. 
So this is Dawn Connors at Mortgage One, providing you fantastic mortgage solutions. Thanks for watching and thank you for liking my YouTube channel. Have a great day.